Yo, what's good? It's your boy Taj, and welcome back to my channel. And All American is back, man. I missed it last week. It threw me off last week because I'm so used to recording on Mondays now. And I didn't even know the show went on a break for a week. I saw the promo after the episode aired, episode 5, and it didn't say when it was coming back. At least I didn't see it. But then I saw it again, like, <laughs> last Monday. And it was, like, December 6th. And I was like, damn, we taking a week break already? But it is what it is. But I'm happy it's back, you know, back to it. Um, this episode going to be really interesting because, you know, it's Bolivia trying to get their time in, you feel me? They deserve it. They've been through hell and back the last couple seasons. They need they need some 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 quality time. But <laughs> you see JJ pull up with the party van and, you know, last time we got a whole bunch of drama at the cabin. So I hope this time it's not as much. But I'm ready to get into it, man. You know, it looks like Simone and Jordan about to have some problems, which, you know, because of the spinoff, we all kind of figured, like, yo, it's going to be some between them that, like, they fall apart or break up, whatever the case may be. But, um, also, they need to show why Simone is getting a spinoff. I like Simone, but they haven't shown us why she's the one getting a spinoff. You know what I mean? That's just me. Let me know how y'all feel. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are below in the description box. And, yeah, man, I'm ready to get into it, so let's go. This man Jordan knocked out. You say, R.I.P. Our high school hallways. <laughs> Cause it's skip day, baby. Yo, who's ready to turn up? I'm got tired of y'all breaking into the school every year and shut it down. You're right. Yes, so. <laughs> so what are y'all gonna do? Oh, they going to the fair, but it's Beverly skip day too. So me and Liv gonna hang out. It's the whole purpose of skip day if you're still doing schoolwork. I'm sorry. I just, I got a last minute assignment for my job at the LA Tribune and I'm just trying to get it done before we leave. Help me. Is it Palm Springs? That's not how surprises work. Okay. <laughs> you and me have been waiting on this day forever. And now that it's finally here, I want to make it special. All right, again. Okay, I could have stepped foot on the elevator for like a year. Okay, honestly, I don't even care because I just want my funnel cake because I haven't had one of those in like... No, I ain't had funnel cake in I don't know how long. You are getting real comfortable with LA, huh? What? It, if I don't stick to my story, Preach goes to jail, Amina has no parents, and I'm not living with that on my conscience. Because I thought you and me were going to spend time together. I mean... I guess I just have all this free time now, right? Bye. Surprised to see you here this early. Dropping off some forms. By the way, Spencer's at home sick. <laughs> all right. So is every other senior. Hey. Here. She not gonna be hyped that it's at the cabin. She gonna be mad it's at the cabin. So I can finally take this thing off and see the breathtaking views of Laguna Beach. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Hi. Yo. All right, all right. First of all, JJ M MVP the episode so far because. <laughs> That, yo, the first scene was hilarious. I thought something serious happened, but it's JJ, so I should have expected it. Also, Patience got chill out on. I'm kind of with Coop on this one. It's like, she has to literally go fill out something important. Like, <laughs> and you're mad because she has to go do it. Like, I get the whole self-defense thing. Like, she's mad that she took the rep for Preach. But at the same time, she told Layla that she couldn't meet up with her because she was spending time with Coop, but Coop has to do something important, like, you, like, I don't get why she's mad about that part, like, that part is the part that irritates me a little bit, like, come on now, come on. Meaning here, I was literally blindfolded. No, it's romantic, and it's kind of kinky. I know, right? I just feel so bad. He went through all this trouble, and Jordan and I ruined his surprise for you. Oh my god, you guys were gonna do it for the first time. Voice down. I feel really bad. Z? We're going to dinner. Dinner? Uh, yeah, you, you and Laura should join us. Uh, I'm sure they have plans. No, no, no. We're, we're not busy. We're free. I love to eat. I, I was just about to break down the difference between the oval ones and, and the shawl lapels. I'll catch you in another time. Bye. <laughs> Why this episode so funny? I suppose we should take full advantage of that opportunity. Damn right. JJ about to pull up in the van. 
the party has arrived. <laughs> to bring the pate to my peeps. Okay, but how did you know that we were all here? Ah, I activated Find My Phone on all my bros and lady bros phone. Right? What happened to your little romantic getaway? <laughs> it got away. Jay in the woods is about to be Yo, JJ. <laughs> What's the best thing about this episode so far? What? I gotta go. Bye. That's your, that's your, that's your friends. I room for two more. God damn, man! Well, I'm not sleeping on the porch. Uh, why is this episode so funny? <laughs> Yo, everything about this episode is funny. Like, dang, man. I don't know. Maybe Liv, right? They should have just went to the hotel at this point, man. They could just come back. It ain't like they can't come back. It's Spencer's cabin. Like, him and Dylan own it. But uh, yeah. Since everybody's there now, you know the drama's about to get about to get started. So, yeah. And JJ, like I said, is the MVP of this episode so far. I <laughs> he's funny as hell. And who like they just Asher and Layla just popped up. Like I don't know how I feel about that one. Like they should have. They didn't get invited technically, but. Then again, none of them. Well, Jordan and Simone was already up there. JJ invited himself. Coop and Patience actually did get invited. And then no one talked to Layla or Asher. So it's like they just showed up too. Time to start bouncing. Hey yo, that looks so fun though. That's the jokes, all of us hanging out. I don't see why not. Well, we're all graduating and going off to college soon. Okay, way to bring us all down. No, I just mean I don't ever want to ever forget this. Well, what's all this? These are capsules from other classes. Like that one over there is from 89, mm -hmm. and that one is 84. Rip master of the universe. <laughs> Check me out. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana. Bam! Y'all see that? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. He gets it. He gets it. That's too good, actually. So damn well, you got a picture of that tux in your phone. You'd have had it since we was kids, so stop front. I don't even know what you taught, bam. <laughs> you got more than one dress? Yes. I mean, we're going to two proms. South Crenshaw and Beverly. You can't wear the same dress to both? Oh, uh, here we go. It's a great thing. It'll increase my chances of making the Brinkson team. Okay, so what's the problem? It's the same weekend as prom. Y'all, y'all saw the way Layla was looking. Yeah, we're about to get some, uh, some drama now. Cause she looked a little, a little hurt by that, you know. So it is what it is. I mean, at this point, it's like, I don't know. I feel bad for her, but it's like. I've been rooting for Spilivia since like season one, episode four, that hot tub scene, man. I can't, you know, it, like I feel bad for Layla. Yeah. But at the same time, man, it's like she got to move on, I guess. I don't know what else to say without being without being mean or whatever. I just I don't know. I'm super invested in your producing career, which is great. And you, you hang out with us, but you, you keep us at a bit of a distance. And, and, and then you slept with Asher, which... Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. How do you even know about that? I'm just trying to look out for you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm looking out for myself just fine. And that distance thing you were talking about earlier, it's called boundaries, okay? And it's a good thing. Excuse me. Now we got our very own Beyonce. No, <laughs> no, I'm not Beyonce. Mm -mm. Beyonce. <laughs> Bro, what? Like today, it was supposed to be me and her coming up here. But she turned around and invited Layla and Asher. Cool, y'all's entire relationship has been built on communication. You need to talk to her. Open these time capsules before our 30-year reunion. Yes, ma'am. Just hard-headed. And that is exactly why I came back after our skip day and hid them somewhere else. Ah, I knew it! What? You, knew it. you ain't got to tell me twice. Yeah? 
Yo, campfire time! Woo! Come on, JJ. I can't go to prom anymore. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's prom. It's our last prom, Simone. I mean, you can't miss that. The clock is ticking, and you're leaving for Brixton soon. Why can't we just live in the now? Because it feels like I'm already losing you. You're not losing me. Man, here we go. I mean, are we surprised that this is coming up, though? Like, we knew at some point that they're... I don't know. They're going to break up at some point. Let's be honest. Like, I don't want them to, but she's going to be on a whole different show. Damon over there. Who else over there? His homeboy over there. Um, You know, they can introduce another character at some point. Who knows? But, like, the clock is ticking. I, I do agree with him. And... How are they going to follow all these characters when they go into the college years? Like, I just don't see how they going to do it, man. Corey James will be a first ballot Hall of Fame running back after a long career that includes shattering Walter Payton's all-time rushing record. Alone in this big, lonely bed, wearing your T-shirt and your favorite black thong. And that's how we'll make it work. Oh, I thought he was really about to get. I don't know, Coop. You just been different, and I miss the old one. We have one of our patented bunch of live movie nights. I am game. <laughs> Let's go. What about them? Oh, I think that'd be fun. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, where do you think you're going? Home. Oh. Mm mm. You're gonna eat dinner with us. Come on. Really? Yes, this night was a huge success because of you. Just text me. It says she's spending the night at her friends. Oh, okay. That was great. Chill with all that. Chill, chill. Oh. Right? I would say the same thing. <laughs> I've been crashing on each other for two years. Things can't get much slower than that. <laughs> and we do have the house to ourselves. Yeah. I hope I don't get copyright for this music, bro. Yeah! Okay! Yeah! Yeah! It finally happened after three seasons, bro. I'm content. I'm happy with what we got. This episode was worth it. The time capsule? Yep. Over by the uh, big tree. How will you remember which one? Trust me, I'll remember. Be a boss, so um, a mogul. Um, maybe even with my own little girl. Having the kind of relationship my mom and I had. Still be able to pull this group of friends together for more moments like this. This is why we love JJ. Maybe by then they'll realize what I bring to the table. Man, I just want to be enjoying life with the woman I love. Retire from the NFL, coaching our kids, Pee Wee League football team. My mom's gonna be home for another hour. I have no complaints about this episode at all. Everything in this episode was damn, like, this was a damn near perfect episode. Like, I have no complaints about this episode. I loved every minute of it. Man, that was a good episode, man. I really enjoyed it. My favorite episode of the season. It's definitely my favorite episode of the season. But, uh, yeah. You know, Spolivia finally got there. They finally had their first time, yo. After three years, man. About damn time. Well, technically it's two years in terms of the show, but three years for the fans, you feel me? But uh yeah, I it was a good scene too. And then the I saw the promo too. It looked like at prom some BS gonna happen at prom and I'm not for it. And it looked like Asher and Layla was kissing. I'm not 100% sure, but it looked like they was kissing. I don't know yet, but who knows, you know. 
and uh what else patience i don't i don't think this relationship is going to last i'll be completely honest i don't think it's going to last i'll be completely honest i just can't see it lasting i just can't but we'll see but i'm gonna get up out of here thanks for watching man i can't wait to put this up uh this is a good episode I can't wait for next week. I'm hyped. I'll see you guys in the next video.